Hello YouTube and here we go for new tip in GIMP and today we're making some Chrome leg aberration. So let's get started by loading an image in GIMP. So I'm gonna use this one here uh, which I made with Blender. Um, actually um, the Chrome leg aberration is mainly used in CG images to recreate the artifacts so when you take a photo with uh, some uh, low-end cameras or devices so firstly what we're gonna do is duplicate the layer three times and we're gonna isolate each channel in each layer so for the first layer we're gonna make the red channel so colors component channel mixer so we make the blue to zero and the red like 200 okay same thing for the second layer but now for the green channel so put the red to zero and the green to 100 okay and lastly the blue channel okay channel mixer the green to zero and the blue 200 okay here we go so now we rearrange them so we have the red green and blue channels okay the red on top uh, the green that follows the red and the blue beneath so next we're gonna change the transfer mode of the red channel to addition and the green one to addition to so we restitute our image back uh, this is the main idea behind digital images uh, each pixel is represented by three channels and each channel is being added to the other so we get a color we have like a red value for example 52 the green value 20 and the blue value 30 we add them we get a color this color uh, is the pixels actually the pixels color so here we go so what I've what I've noticed when looking at some images that have like this uh, chromatic aberration effect is that general at the edges we see like the red channel and the green channel being separated so this is what I did we I click I let's select the red channel and move it to the left for one or two pixels and take the green channel and do the same but this time in the right direction and here we go we can all you can also move the green to left and red uh, just to the right to the red up and down so it doesn't matter uh, the thing that it matter is the how much because if you go too further you can see that the image gets really gets really <laughs> messy and uh, actually I don't never ever go beyond like two or three pixels never so one pixel for the green and one pixel for the red and you really get this subtle effect of chromatic aberration uh, you can uh, and finally if you want to you can merge all this realize all these three layers and uh, c do some touch-ups with the original image but here we go uh, you have your chromatic aberration you can see it really well here in the edges some green effect here right there uh, especially here so uh, this is the main idea of the tip I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you for next tutorial